This episode of the Dog Training Revolution is crowdfunded by you and sponsored by PetFlow.com. If you have a dog that sees an open door as an invitation to bolt out into the road, then you're really gonna enjoy today's lesson. I'm gonna show you how to teach your dog not to run out of the door and to stay in your house. I'm also gonna be covering the principle of preemption and why we have to know how to do this in order to have a well-behaved dog. Click thumbs up if you love dogs. Also, like me on Facebook, I'll have a link in the description. And I'm so excited right now because the Dog Training Revolution is over 200,000 thousand subscribers strong make sure you subscribe so you see all of our future videos if you haven't heard petflow.com is revolutionizing the way to buy dog food i think we can all agree that we have better things to do than to run to the store and buy dog food every time we run out the benefit to getting your food from petflow.com slash zach george is that you can choose a completely customizable schedule so you can have your dog food shipped to you as often as you want all you have to do is pick your food and how often you want it sent to you as most of you likely already know all establishments that sell dog food well they're not exactly equal there's no way I'm going to find the brands of dog food I feed my dog at my local grocery store, but PetFlow has hundreds of brands, even the harder to find organic and holistic foods. For those of you that are interested in having your dog food auto shipped to you, make sure you enter code ZAC20 when you check out. That'll give you 20% off of your first auto ship order. Now let's go meet the beautiful Mona Lisa and her family. Logan, Beverly, I had the honor of coming over here and meeting Mona Lisa the other day. She is such a beautiful dog, full of energy, really cool dog. But I'm curious, how did you come up with the name Mona Lisa? Well, I'm an artist, and my biggest inspiration is Leonardo da Vinci. You know, the most beautiful painting by him is Mona Lisa. I often will use the analogy of painting a portrait when showing people how to teach dogs. When you go to create a new work of art, your mindset isn't such that it's, let me hurry up and get through this. It's taking your time. Yeah. and doing it nice. Wouldn't you agree with that? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you have to have your foundations and basics before you can even do anything. Otherwise, it looks like abstract expressionism, which is a bit, you know, a all over the place. Are you not yeah. an abstract fan? Is that what you say? Um, not, <laughs> <laughs> not real art. No. Beverly, what is it about Mona Lisa that you were drawn to? Well, initially didn't have too much say in the fact that we were going to have Mona. I'd already had the dog of my own. I kind of like the idea now that we have a dog that's a little different set than what I'm normally used to. I like that she's a little more active and she kind of challenges us. Surprisingly, you know, she got down some of a bit more, I guess, technically advanced tricks, you know, such as roll over, shake, and things like that. But the basics really kind of struggled on, one of them being stay and come when called. If we are getting groceries and the door is cracked open, she'll go ahead and she'll just bolt and we'll spend an hour trying to chase her down a busy street. It's definitely very unsettling when that happens. Running out of the door is a completely natural thing for a dog to do. It's a completely new environment. I noticed you have a couple of dogs across the street as well, which yes. probably complicates matters as well. I'd like to kind of see what her skill set is now, what you've taught her, because there are a few things you have to have in place before teaching a dog not to run out of the door. Why don't you go get Mona Lisa and let's take a look at what she can do. Sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay. All right. She's allowed her the first. Oh, she is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She's just not allowed to like smother guests. I just don't want her to jump. So, <laughs> got you. I understand. Why don't you show me what happens when you open the door? Keep her on leash though, because we want to make sure we take precautions, sure. obviously. Go. Now stand up, walk her, and what is her default? Her default is just to go right yeah, out just, the door. Yeah, just to go right out the door okay. and run. It's a cat. <laughs> oh, there's a cat. Yeah, there's okay. a cat. All right, so here, I mean, this is exactly what we have to deal with. Mona Lisa sees a cat right now across the street, and of course that's tempting for her. This is why outside is so exciting for our dogs. Call her, try and get her to come inside come uh, in, without pulling her. Come Let in, me Mom. see what happens. Come see. Come on inside. Come on. And she's saying, absolutely no way, look at that. She's saying, I'm not going to come in. So many people make the mistake of thinking that getting your dog to come to you after they run out of the door is where you should start to address this. The point of failure, though, isn't when they won't come back to you. The point of failure is when they run out in the first place. That's why we have to prioritize stay. We want our dogs holding a sit in front of an open door until we tell them it's okay to go outside. Teaching your dog not to run out of the front door requires us to do a few things. Uh, the three ingredients, as I like to think of them, are uh, a basic stay, leaving a piece of meat alone when we drop it, and look at me. Now, I like to combine those three things in order to teach a dog not to run out into the street. Seems a little weird, but I'll explain to you what I mean. Would you mind demonstrating with me, with Mona Lisa, how she's doing on, I, I like the look on his face already, uh, on leave it alone, uh, look at me and a basic stay. Let's start with stay. Sure. <laughs> Mona, sit. Stay, okay? 
Really good work, really nice work. So come back and reward her for that. Love it, really good. The other important thing our dogs need to know is how to leave something alone when we drop it. The reason for that is we have to know that our dog can back off of a minor distraction, like a piece of meat being dropped in front of them before we can expect them to not run into the road. Something that's very exciting for them. Let's see how she does with leave it. Okay, leave it. Good job, now pick that up and reward her. She did really good. good girl. I noticed how when you threw it down, uh, she was staring right at the tree. Now, she didn't go for it, which is great. Right. But ideally, we want to be able to get her attention off of that tree and onto our eyes. This time, when you throw the treat down, try and get her attention up here onto your eyes, okay? okay? In other words, we want her to know, yeah, there's a piece of meat right there, but I still want you looking at me, even though I know you want that, because that's what we're going to build on. We want to start small. Leave it. Look at me. Hey, move. Yes, good, right there. Now get, the, I'm sorry, I got excited there. But it's those critical small moments, like the moment they start listening to you, you want to acknowledge that very quickly. Not just with a treat, but with some genuine love and energy too, which you're very good at. As people, we tend to try and do our really main training at the wrong times. I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, when you go to take your dog for a walk, if you have a dog that's ever pulled on a leash, you might have made the mistake of trying to teach your dog to walk nicely on the leash without pulling while on your normal walk. But the problem with that is oftentimes you have something to get done, you're on a schedule, and you can't really focus on your dog 100%. That's why we wanna make sure we set up drills. Another good example is when you have company coming over and your dog jumps all over them and you passively try and teach them not to jump rather than giving them 100% of your attention. In order to teach your dog anything that's fairly sophisticated, like staying when there's a cat outside of your front door, you'll need to make sure that you prepare them for that thoroughly ahead of time. So I'm gonna work with Mona Lisa for a little bit, kind of give you guys an idea of how to train this, you guys at home as well. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her a treat for almost no reason at all. Just to let her know, look, I pay very well, I want you to be cooperative, and I wanna keep her motivated. I wanna keep her into the training. Now I'm gonna ask her to leave this piece alone. We know that she already knows leave it. Leave it alone. Good. Up here. Yes, very good. I didn't even say look at me right there. Getting her eyes on me was the most important thing. So I got her eyes on me while she was distracted. Now I think we're ready to kind of uh, make it a little bit more challenging. Instead of dropping the meat this time though, I'm gonna give her a different distraction. It's called an open door. I also want you to see that we have a safety net on here. We wanna make sure that we have control of our dogs. We don't wanna leave anything to chance. So if she does bolt out the front door, I'm in a position to make sure that I've got her. We also have her on a harness as well. It's much more challenging for a dog to get out of a harness than a loose collar, for example. Stay, now watch this, go small. And the second I open the door, she kind of walked towards. Your goal is to make sure your dog doesn't fail twice in a row. If they go out that door the first time, make sure you immediately set them up for success the next time, even if it means you've got to make it super easy for them. Keep the pattern in your favor. Stay. Now look at this. Yes. Since she kind of broke on that last one, when I opened the door, I did a smaller version of it. I just touched the doorknob. Yes. I like that she didn't break stay when I touched the doorknob. Does that make sense? Here we go, stay. Go in slow motion. The slower you go when introducing new concepts, the better. Watch this. Look at me. Very good. I love that. That was a really important moment. It may not have looked like much, but what just happened there? I opened the door. I then got her attention on me in the presence of an open door. That's awesome. You notice I'm using a lot of hand signals. We've got stay. Look at me, up here, up here. Now she, her attention's waning a little bit, so we're challenging her. Yes, very good, nice work. Mona Lisa, hey, up here. Yes, good. I had to get a little bit closer to her because she's a little bit more distracted. That's all very normal. I don't want to push her to failure, so I'm going to close the door, let her know that I like that. We're trying to build small steps, have the discipline to do this, and you'll get much quicker, much more reliable results. Stay. We took a big step there, but I was feeling good. Very good. She's really starting to get this concept. We still have a lot of work to do in order to make her understand that she needs to stay no matter how exciting the outside is. So we're gonna do another drill right now. I'm gonna see how she does with stay while I throw real meat out of the front door and maybe even some toys. Stay, leave it alone. Very good, leave it alone. Wow, look at you, leave it alone. Yes, look at me. Very good. 
I'll take that all day long. So if you can't tell, there's a bit of a pattern here. We're gradually increasing the level of difficulty. We're next going to try toys. Stay ready. Look at me. Yes. Stay. Look at the tail. You hear when, <laughs> the moment I said yes, did you see the tail wagging? Look That's at me. Good. That's gonna be real distraction. Up here, right. I don't know if you can hear the barking dog or not, but there's a dog barking there. She's, someone just walked by over here as well. Very good. But I still want to get those eyes on me. If her eyes aren't on me, I don't have her. Come on, hey, look at me. Yes, good. Just getting a little extra peppy sometimes like that will help. The best part about this exercise is that you're teaching your dog to think and reason on their own. Now, next steps for you guys are going to be to put her into a sit stay every single time you open this door. I'd say for the next year of her life, make her hold a five to 10 second stay before allowing her to go through any door that leads to the outdoors. So in her mind, she needs to think, okay, I sit when the door opens. I don't run out when the door opens, but this takes lots of consistency, but it's not hard. As you can see, she knows sit, she knows stay, she knows leave it, she knows look at me. By the way, I have videos on all those topics on my playlist, I'll have that in the description. Let's give a big thumbs up to Mona Lisa. She did awesome today. It's become a bigger part of our community by liking me on Facebook and also checking out our Patreon campaign. Remember, these videos are completely free. I love doing them more than anything in the world and your contributions on Patreon really allow us to go to the next level with them. Uh, Patreon.com slash Zach George, that link will be in the description. Subscribe to my videos as well so that you see all of my future videos. I think you guys just did awesome today. Really good job on training. And Mona Lisa, you're a rock star, baby. Good job. See you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> Mona Lisa was such a sharp young lady. Seriously, guys, don't take chances and always prioritize stay above everything else in your obedience training. Now, if you need help with polishing up come when called and stay, check out Teddy the Chow. Are you confused about how to teach your dog to leave a treat alone when you drop it? Check out how to teach your dog to leave something alone, and I'll bet that'll answer all of your questions. Don't underestimate the power of eye contact with your dog as most people do. Teach your dog how to look at you when you ask in minutes. Hey, thanks to all of you who continue to support these videos on Patreon too, and thanks again for subscribing. We'll see you guys next time.